Ah, greetings friends, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. So, after spending a night in the police station, I decided to come out the next morning and check out the warehouse. As you can see down there, the gate is looking pretty crowded. So, first step is to just have a quick wander around the back side of the lot, check out the building up here and the bike, and uh, see what we can find. So, we had a quick look at the bike here, and that's in not the best condition. So, uh, we left that B. There was no key around for that either. Uh, so I went and checked out this first building, which looks like a small warehouse of some sort. First two doors were locked, but the office door was definitely open, which is a good thing. Now, I had a quick look around here. There was nothing too useful in this office area, but that water dispenser might be handy to grab later on. So I went to the next room, and it seems this was a, an auto mechanic area of some sort, a garage for vans. Uh, there wasn't too much loot in here, some tyres, some engine parts, box of screws, there's some empty gas cans and some other odds and ends, but nothing major. So we grabbed a few bits here and there, and then proceeded back outside. We headed over to the pickup truck in the distance, just to see if that was worth getting. Well, mechanics wise, it's in okay shape, it's got a little bit of gas in it, but as it turned out, the door was locked, and I never did find a key for it. Uh, it didn't have a whole lot of loot sat in there either, nothing particularly needed. But a few zombies did come down to see what we were up to. So we had a quick whack on them, and headed around into the main warehouse through a back door. And found ourselves a little security guard or office worker or something that was just hanging out there. Nothing much on her, but this looks like it is a fairly packed warehouse. There's a lot of shelves and a lot of boxes. So that's going to take a lot to uh, just skim through there and have a look, see if there's anything useful we can get. Now, it turned out there were quite a lot of interesting things in there. So I decided to head back to the truck to drop off some of the odds and ends that we've got, that we found in the uh, mechanic side and then drive this around to the main entrance to clear that out and see what kind of trouble we could get in there. And boy did we manage to find a little bit of trouble. <laughs> a few, not too many zombies on the road, but there were obviously quite a lot in here milling around. And this large box van did certainly attract them. So I decided I'd give our silenced pistol a shot. Pardon the pun. <laughs> Well, after a pretty good start so far. Right, time to reload. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. That was not what I wanted to happen at all. <laughs> I think I fumbled the keys or something there and, and got scratched and was bleeding. So I hit it with uh, some disinfectant and sterilised bandage. And then set back to taking out the crowd that was now closing in on us. Missed a few shots there. I think I was getting a little bit uh, excited and or concerned. So time to run away for a bit and reload. Unfortunately, I hit the run button before I'd properly reloaded, and that almost got me bitten again. That was not good. However, I learned my lesson, calmed down a little bit, ran off again, and uh, started taking out these zeds a little bit more carefully. After all the exciting carnage had subsided, 
Uh, I spent some time looting all the corpses, checked the vehicles that were in the parking lot, and there was nothing massively exciting there. I mean, the vehicles were in okay condition, but no keys and nothing really that we needed for the time being. So I got in the truck and finally headed inside to start looting this fantastic looking warehouse of all the delightful supplies that I could find. Now, I figured probably the best thing to do was going to be to actually back up into the place. Uh, not necessarily for protection specifically, but mainly just to make the uh, sort of run back to the van uh, a little bit easier. So uh, I popped in the office first, and there wasn't much there, so I came into the warehouse proper and had a scope around, and there was a lot of uh, electronics and clothing in the uh, first section down here. So that might be something to come back for later on, particularly the electronics if I need skill points. Now I did see a few batteries and took some of them. Those were quite handy indeed. You never know when you're going to need a battery if you're using flashlights. And I toyed with the idea of taking a flashlight, but nah. I think I'm good. I've got one of those military ones attached to the webbing that we're wearing, so that's pretty good. So I poked around the rest of the warehouse and we had uh, a selection of cooking items, stuff like that. You know, cups, saucers, mugs, a little bit more sort of houseware goods, I suppose you could say. And then I found a padded jacket. I figured we'd grab that. There's a couple of boxes here with some winter clothes in them. And I decided to actually wear one of the scarves as well, because I don't have any neck protection. So that will be helpful. Uh, but yeah, so we've got uh, some woolly hats, and winter hats, and winter clothing. So I figured we'd take a bunch of that, because winter is coming. And then the uh, rest of the warehouse was mainly tools, and uh, as you see there, chain link fence, axe, bucket... We grabbed all of those because that will come in handy later on. And uh, went back down to the van to load all that stuff in. And then went into this uh, sort of back room work area, metal shop, whatever it is. And found some interesting things. Bags of concrete, boxes of nails. And uh, a locker full of uh, other handy supplies, chains, propane torches. All sort of assorted metal working gear. So I grabbed a bunch of that stuff and then uh, headed back to the van. And I did that a few times. Mostly everything that was in that area was just metalworking gear. So once we were done, we got back in the van, truck, whatever this thing is. It's a bit wobbly now because it's very overloaded. And uh, we headed back to base. Because now comes the fun part. Well, I say back to base, back to the police station where we'd... Uh, been camping overnight. Bit of a mess here. And so uh, I decided what we were going to do next was just secure the place, which I think I talked about last episode. So first stop was to make some sheet ropes from the zombie clothing. And I grabbed up a fair few of those and uh, then proceeded just through one of the holes in the fence, started chopping down some trees because we're going to need a fair bit of lumber for what I have planned. Basically, what we're going to do is patch up the holes in the fence. There's two, three, or maybe four up this end. And uh, then build a gate down at the bottom. So, I went to chopping, a happy lumberjack that I am. <laughs> and then we used the sheet ropes to tie up the um, logs into bundles of four. Then grabbed as many as we could carry and carried them back into the compound, over to the furthest away holes first. And yes, we got them dropped off on the floor. Because we're going to have to cut some planks out from all this. And get them, you know, saw the logs into planks I should say. And then start hammering up some wall pieces. So get some framework in. Lovely, lovely framework. And then slap a nice bit of wall on it if I click on the right button. But not a window. We don't want a wall with a window in it because that would defeat the purpose. <laughs> so that's one hole filled. Then down to the other one with the spare planks. Get those two gaps filled in as well. And then hit them up with the uh, wall panels themselves. Lovely. So we worked on this into the night 
got all the breaks in the fence that I could find fixed. Uh, hopped over into um, that building next to us uh, just to dismantle some doors and get some hinges and things. And the next morning we used the uh, last of the wood supplies that we got and the hinges and doorknobs and everything and finished off securing the base. Got a nice double gateway entrance there and then put the extra panels in on the side just to completely secure it and everything looked pretty good. Hopefully that's going to be a nice secure place. Maybe we'll come back down and clean the corpses out at some point. But then it's back in the van because there's one more building that I want to check out tonight. Today, this episode, <laughs> this morning, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, we're going to head back up here and take a right up this road. And we'll see where this takes us because it looked on the map previously like there were some sort of farm warehouses and stuff up here. So I'm hoping there might be some sort of farm area, maybe some more odds and ends we can get for farming. Uh, oh, hello. This is an interesting looking place. There's a few Zeds knocking about, but not too terribly many. Not at all. Okay, now there's a few, few more than I was expecting. Well, let's hop out and give them a good whack with the old uh, nightstick. Or whatever it is I'm using at the minute. Ah oh, yes, it is a nightstick. <laughs> yes, this is actually more than I've expected and I'm about to get bitten again. No, no, oh crumbs. Okay. Retreat, retreat, run away, run away. This may not have been the best of ideas. Cracky, that's a horde. That almost went very badly again. Yeah, not good, not good, not good. Run, 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 run. Keep checking behind us just for safety. And we are slowly thinning the herd now. We are getting exerted. Okay, I think we've thinned the herd quite a bit now. exciting. And now we've got quite a bit to loot.
Not that we have the space for it, but there you go. Lots of farmers around these parts, it seems. I was not expecting a survivor house, though. What we need is somewhere to rest. Ooh, bags of gravel. We probably should take those. And the fertiliser too, that come in handy. Don't know where we're going to put it yet, but we're going to grab it. Generator. That we might have to take down to uh, that base that we've just made. Okay, so this house could be interesting. I wonder if we can open any of those windows. Let's try unbarricading this first. That's done on the outside, so that is slightly worrying. Smash it, but not open it. Okay. Ah, there's a window with only two on it. There's a fishing spot here, too. Interesting. Ah, no, don't rebarricade it, you plum. Unbarricade it. Open, go in. There we go. Let's close all the curtains so we don't attract any extra attention. is definitely going to be somewhere we'll have to come back to, I think. Oh, there's a key. I assume that's to the doors. Wow. Yeah, we are probably going to have to look at coming back here. Hmm. Yeah, they were definitely preppers in this house. So that means this is probably going to have quite a lot of loot in it. Ah, some unfortunately rotten food there. Okay, yeah, we are going to clear the area, but then uh, most likely 
come back here at a later date to loot everything. Eesh, poor people. one which window are they banging on oh they're all banging on that one Plank, aren't I? God, yeah. Let's just pop it on the zombie. Come on, buddy. Down you come. Okay, fine, you lot. Come here. Okay, we are going to need a little bit of food. Oh, let's eat the cereal. Perfect, we need the calories anyway. Seeds. A ranger machete. Not bad. We'll take that as well. It's a bit damaged, but could be useful in the long run. A weaponized. Wow. Oh, that's almost dead. That's a shame. Oh wow, Colt Ace. Interesting. Yeah, they have quite a lot of weapons and stuff down here. Oh, some rotten veg. We can use that later. Hmm. Two of the original preppers, it seems. Survivalists, whatever they were. Sadly, they are no more. And of course, we're getting sleepy. That's really helpful. Oh dear. Sword have anything in the backpack? They do. I wonder what. Ah, just some food. Well, we might as well eat that. Yeah, I'm going to grab the corpse quick and shove it in the dryer out of the way for now. Oh, well, that's not a bad looking machete. Wow, this place is literally stacked with stuff. Yeah, we are definitely going to have to come back here. I think there's somebody in here. Yes, there is. Oh, 
that's annoying. Somebody is banging somewhere. Upstairs, maybe? Ah, there she is. Sorry, lady. Made me jump. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I could hear them, but I figured they were outside. A civilian bulletproof vest. Let's have a quick look at this police one that we've got on. It might be time to switch it out. Oh, it's actually not in too bad shape. Okay, well, that's good. Again with the food everywhere, <laughs> and the axes, and all sorts. Okay, let's check this last room quick. I'm surprised I don't have a generator around for this house. Uh, more, more ammunition and weapons. A lot of that we probably won't take, but you never know. Okay, it looks like the house is clear now, so we are going to mark that on the map as, let's see, we'll put a house there because yeah, that is a survivor house. Lovely. And there's these two big barn warehouse things over here I want to check too. However, lock door. Opening the door might be... Oh, it's barricaded. Of course it is. And I don't think I can... I can't remove the barricades either. Climb through. Okay. That was unexpected. Oh, balls. I just realised I've cut myself. Dang it. How did I even do that? There was no glass to remove. Oh well, time for a quick bit of first aid. It's a good thing we got some sterilised bandages on us. Although that was the uh, last one. Okay, we are going to have to take some of these painkillers. Uh, use, there we go, take pills. Well that was not a good start, was it? Oh boy, I think that's bleeding. It is. Can I? I don't have anything to fix that with. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I probably need a needle and thread. Hang on, before we. Oh, sorry, we'll just cover it up for now. Check out the bathroom, because they might have had something in here. Uh -huh. I found the suture needle, so I'm going to stitch myself up quick. Like a 
right kipper. <laughs> There must be rich. Oh, there's rip sheets in there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Bandaged up. Hopefully that will keep us alive for a while. See, that is why it's always handy to bring with you certain things. Okay, where in the world did the suture needle end up? Did it get used? Or is it in my hand? It's not in my hand, is it? Unless it's up at the top. No. Oh, okay. Curious. Where did the suture needle go? I guess it was used. Very strange, I didn't think you could actually do that. Oh well. That's what I get for climbing through a window that I thought didn't have any uh, glass in it. Remove broken glass. Okay, it's right obvious now, isn't it? What a muppet I am. Yeah, dear. Okay, well, let us... Uh, make some sheet ropes. I think I just need one for this. Will it let me add a sheet rope to this side? No. Do I just not have enough stuff for it, or what? Maybe it's two sheet ropes. No. Is it just the wrong type of fence or what? Hmm. Okay. Add escape rope. There we go. Okay. I guess let's give it a shot. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So we now have an escape rope. After a lot of fighting around and realising that was probably the wrong kind of fence. Let's go and check these two buildings out over here quick. And then I feel oh, cracky. Zed's and we're sleepy. Let's chug some vitamins quick. It's not going to help a lot, but it might just help enough. And after offing a few more zombies, I headed up to check out the two buildings, and they weren't of much use to us. It looks like they are both animal barns of some sort, and all they have is some zombies lurking in them now. So I decided it was about time to get back in the van and head back to the farm. So on that note, I shall bid you all farewell. And I hope you'll come back and watch us again next time as we continue on with this adventure. <laughs> Cheerio everyone! <laughs>